Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Come on. Sorry my face looks so ashy. But today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm just going to try a little bit of new makeup that I got for Christmas. Today is currently December 26th. It's the day after Christmas. And I'm just going to start by saying I'm sorry I didn't finish Vlogmas. I've just been working on some stuff. Like I don't even have an excuse. Honestly, I tried to get a job. I had a whole job situation. Didn't work. More of the story didn't work. So this is what we're going to try to do at least until school starts. And if school starts and I'm not having any luck with social media or the internet, then I guess we'll see about getting a job again. But I just traumatized from trying to get a job this time. I don't know why, because my last job I had, I had it for literally like a year. So maybe that's why I was just literally so comfortable in it. I didn't have to worry about anything, but now I moved and I live here now. So it's a lot different, but whatever. We're gonna start my eyebrows. This is gonna be a get ready with me and I'm not even using my tripod thingy. It's not a real tripod, it's a fake nail tripod. I'm not using my ring light, it's all the way over there. I'm literally using a lamp, but I really like this lamp. I didn't know it had such good light. And you know what? This is what we're getting today. I'm gonna try to move a little bit fast too because I have something to do at three o'clock. Anyways, <laughs> so today I'm gonna do a get ready with me. And I wanna talk about a few things. For starters, I'm working on rebranding my custom customization business so my ideal business idea is for it to be me basically just doing customizations of bags and jeans and i'm doing some customs right now i'm doing six so they're gonna take me a few days to finish all of them but i started them at least so that's what we'll work with my brand is called lust maniac i recently started tagging it in the description but yeah i'm rebranding and i'm gonna come out with a new launch first week of january which is also my birthday week, so I don't have time to be waiting until the end of January or until February. I don't really want to do that. My problem is I'm really impatient and I always want things to be done in a rush, in a hurry. If I need something, I want it right then and there. I don't like to order stuff because I don't like waiting for it. And that's my problem right there. I'm so impatient, but I'm trying to work on it, so cut me some slack. Oh, and I got this necklace. My mom got me this necklace for Christmas. It's got paper clips on it. Giving you very much punk, very much what my style is turning into. I don't know why I'm so out of breath. I've literally been filming this video for like three minutes. But yeah, I'm just gonna do my eyebrows. I just wanted to talk to you guys and give you guys a proper intro and stuff before I started getting into my get ready with me. But this is gonna be a chatty one again. I feel like this is like my staple video or something. I don't even know, but I'm coming up with new video ideas as well. 2021 is going to be a game changer for me because I have so much planned out and in store to come out with so this better be my freaking year I'm not playing and I better come back at the end of 2021 and be like oh my gosh I said it in this video and it happened I'm manifesting that right now but yeah I'll be back after I finish my brows okay so I know one of my last videos my mirror is right here so if you see me looking to the side that's what I'm looking at but I know one of my more recent videos for vlogmas i talked about my 2020 goals and things and i think i talked about my license i haven't got my license but i have a few reasons when i lived in maryland it's not i don't know how every state is but i know in maryland you have to do a whole lot to get your license you have to hold your permit for nine months go to driving school do all that bs and i just didn't have the time i was a cheerleader i had a lot going on to be honest i had a job but i, I had cheer and cheer if you're a cheerleader then you know especially if it's competitive even in high school competitive, you know that stuff takes up all your time. Like you have literally no time to do anything else. Granted, I could have done it in the summers, but in the summers I worked a lot. I worked full time, so I have some money saved up. But now that I live in Ohio, it's a lot easier and I'm 18. So it's a lot easier for me to get my license. And I plan to get my license in the next couple of months and buy a car in the next couple of months. Yes, you heard what I said. And so, Therefore, now I can get my license. That's one of my number one goals for 2021. And I know that I'll meet it. Like, it's not, I'm very determined. When I'm very determined for things, then they end up happening. And that's just that on that. Sorry, not sorry. But I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeshadow today. And I found the concealer that's lighter than me that I use on my eyelids. And it's pretty new, like, look at it. It's so full. But I'm gonna use it to prime. Okay, that's too much. Anyway, so yeah, I got some new makeup palettes for Christmas and that's what I'm gonna be using today for some eyeshadow. 
I'm not gonna do nothing too crazy because I don't really have a lot of time. Cause I have, like I said, I'm doing a relaunch of my brand. So I need some time to deal with that. And that is why I don't have that much time to do this eyeshadow and get ready and everything like that. I'm cleaning my room. It's probably like nearly two o'clock, but I woke up at like 12. <laughs> I know that's bad. I literally set an alarm to wake up at 8 a.m. And I did, and I went right back to sleep. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if my bed is just so comfortable. I have no idea what it is. But really, really hard to wake up that early. Like, I don't know, ever since I have been in high school, I have not needed to wake up that early. But once a week for my 8 a.m. for school. Other than that, I never had to wake up that early. So, therefore, yeah. But my mommy gave me this wire palette. Ah, so exciting. I got this palette. I'm not gonna do uh, what I got for Christmas or nothing like that because I don't really feel like it, to be honest. And I don't really wash those, so why would I really make one? But yeah, she got me this for a palette as well. And then one more for a palette, this one. I don't know who's designing these palettes these days, but they are very gorgeous. Like, they are so pretty. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna try to use one of the light colors. Mm, I feel like that's a waste and that's probably not gonna show up. But let's try it. And I'm gonna use my handheld mirror. I got this mirror from the dollar store, so I always shows up a little. It's like my transition color. That's what I wanted it for. And it's working. Yeah, that makes me excited. Can you see that? <laughs> but yeah. Today I'm gonna be talking. I feel like I've been talking a lot more in my videos because they're more interesting to watch. Like I love to do makeup videos and I love to watch makeup videos. But I've noticed that they don't do that well on YouTube as a as a whole these days like i don't know makeup tutorials have just gone downhill kind of sort of but i like to make them and i know things basically the replacer for makeup tutorials is get ready with me so that's why i do so many get ready with me because i like to do makeup and i'm using this for a palette that looks like this it's like tigers i love tigers by the way it's a cheetah it's definitely a cheetah but not the point i'm using that palette right now I don't know what the color of the shade is. I'll show you in a second. Yeah, I'm using this one right here. I really like it, to be honest. Now, I usually like to get really, really colorful palettes, but my natural palettes that I've had are getting really old, so I'm so glad that I got a new one. Ah! And now, I have a natural palette that's up to date, and it won't make my skin break out. So that makes me really excited. So I'm bringing this color all the way up. I would bring y'all in, but I'm really not doing that much. So I honestly don't feel like I need to bring y'all in any closer. Sorry, no, sorry. I'm gonna use a different brown in the shade. And just use it in my crease. Directly in my crease. This video has been going for five minutes. I feel like I'm moving really quick. <laughs> when I be in a rush, I hate being in a rush. I feel like everyone hates being rushed, but when I'm in a rush, like I'm rushing myself because I have other things to do. I move so efficient. Like I like the rush feeling when it's me, not when someone else is rushing me. That's annoying. So today I'm gonna be using a little bit of color, but I'm starting off with brown. You see that? <laughs> I just used two browns so far on my eyelid and they're the only browns. Basically they're the only colors I'm really gonna be using in my crease at all. So yeah. I've decided that I'm going to try to become a social media person. That's my job. I know it's a big risk and I don't have everything I need necessarily or everything to work in my favor, but I'm gonna do it because it's kind of really what I wanna do. And for so long, I've been working these hard jobs that work me until I pass out. And I don't wanna do that anymore. I just don't, I really don't. I'm making this black color. Oh, I like this one. And I'm making like a key liner type of thing. Oh, this is a really good back though. I'll come back in a little bit after I do this eye and get it looking okay. Okay, I'm back. And like I was saying, I'm really gonna commit to YouTube and see how far that gets me because if it gets me far enough, then this will be what I'm doing. As well as my business that I'm trying to bring up. Because I saw somewhere and it was like, this generation doesn't like to just work jobs. They like to create jobs. And that's so freaking true. And I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. It's giving me very much evolution to be honest because why shouldn't we you know really why shouldn't we and if you think about it why do we want to be working these minimum wage jobs like i know i'm only in college and i'm young and i don't know the world and everything like that but you scared me 
video. Jesus. <laughs> you gave me a freaking heart attack. I thought I was seeing a ghost. Okay, thank you. <laughs> but yeah. We like to create jobs and I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. Get everything going where I can just work for me. And I'm a pretty hard worker, I must say. I'm a Capricorn and you know what they say about Capricorns. But yeah, so I feel like it's really reasonable. I'm trying to manifest it right now. I don't know, I just came to a whole lot of realizations. Like, let me tell you guys about Amazon because I know I said in the video, I was starting a new job and it was Amazon. Mm -mm. No, no, no. The warehouse jobs, I just quickly realized were not for me, and I'm not mad at that. Side note, I'm gonna take this color and put it on my bottom lash line. And yeah, like I was saying, those warehouse jobs, I do not know how y'all can do that because Amazon, first of all, Amazon shifts are 10 hours long, and you get one little 30 minute break for a 10 hour shift. I feel like that's really, really ridiculous, and I just couldn't do it. I tried at least tried but no it's easy because they basically hire anyone but uh, i've tried to work other places not really been working out either my availability isn't good or i don't know what it is to be honest but it's just not working for me so this is what i'm going to try to stick to and that's also why i'm launching so early so my parents don't yell at me and they can see that oh look she's doing something on her own she doesn't need to work that job da -da -da -da. that's that <laughs> on what was happening with Amazon or the job I did try to have at least. <sighs> More of the story is I feel like I'm at the age and the time in my life where if I don't want to do that, if I don't want to work back breaking hours and back breaking work for that little minimum wage pay, I shouldn't have to and I feel like that's okay to be honest. Sorry I'm not looking at the screen. But yeah I feel like that's okay and I shouldn't have to. I really don't have to. I have no need to. Luckily, my parents provide for me and my family. I have a lot of sisters, so I can live at home and do everything I need to do here. I'm about to try and see if I want to wear these lashes my sister gave me. Anyways, yeah, so like I was saying, I feel like I shouldn't have to, so I'm not going to. It's that simple. I'm going to put on these lashes and finish my eyes up, and then I'll come back. Because I feel like this is taking forever, and I just want to get to my feet. Okay, I'm back. I finished my eyes. This is what they look like. Pretty regular, nothing too fancy yet. No, they're not gonna look that fancy. But yeah, um, let's talk about my brand a little bit more. So the goal is for me to, I've done a little research. And I think I know how I can get my brand out there cause I'm going to be hand painting stuff. And that's a big like thing for me to have a hand painted and really, you know, original. And you can basically create what you want or you can tell me what you want me to create for you yeah it's one of those type of brands and if it does well then hopefully i can do some videos on small businesses help and stuff like that because i love watching those videos and i would love to make them but i haven't obviously because i haven't had any small business success or anything um let's talk about a concealer hack real quick i actually have always done this kind of not literally to the t because it's from tiktok but i've done this somewhat <laughs> And I just basically use a, <coughs> this one always gets to my throat, but use a setting spray, or I just use a rose tip oil and vitamin C spray over your concealer and then wait a few minutes. The only difference is I'm not gonna wait a few minutes. I'm just gonna fan it dry. <sighs> Imagine doing your fan the wrong way, embarrassing. I'm just gonna fan it dry. <laughs> and then blend it with my Real Technique sponge. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's what we're trying to get at with my small business. And I also want to do YouTube full time. And another thing about getting a job, I can fully commit to the time and the schedule I'm having planned out for my YouTube channel. Because vlogmas made me realize how much I really do love making videos and how much I do want to just keep doing this. And in order to keep doing this, I need to have time for it. So that's another thing about not having a actual paying I mean hourly job like that so yeah for the main part I mean for the most part <laughs> for the most part what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to do this social media stuff and go on the internet and do what I can because I feel like for one I'm an artist and I do makeup and I do stuff like that so I feel like I don't know people have interest in these kind of things and I've seen people grow simply based off the fact that they just kept doing it 
no breaks no excuses no nothing and that's what i plan to do um so i feel like that's what i want to do when i should follow it because it's kind of like my short-term dream to do this no i'm not saying i want to do youtube and be on the internet forever because i am in school i'm in college so hopefully my degree is useful my degree is in fashion so it's not one of those like an english degree or something like that i really feel like since my degree is so specific to my industry i'll be able to use it especially because i actually feel like i learned things so far i've taken only two fashion classes because i've only had one semester of college but i want to say that i have learned things because i know a lot of people who go for a degree sometimes they feel like they don't learn anything they feel like they're wasting their time and their money and everything in college but i don't feel like that thankfully and i'm one of those people who would be quick to drop out because i feel like i'm wasting my money and my time and i'll drop out this is a black radiance powder it looks like this and i usually use the airspun one but i've been using this one recently and i like it it's actually really thin it's really good you can get it from target or something and you're about to see me use it so you can decide if you would like to start using it or not and i think it's banana yes yeah, banana powder if you are brown or black then this is a good powder for you if you're looking for an alternative powder to any basically powder that's high in price or the airspun one because i know i've been using the airspun one forever it's literally the only one i basically ever used so this is a banana powder and i just do it like this pat it in first look real ghosty and then go in right here a little bit longer i feel like every time i make a shitty chi a <laughs> Every time I make a chatty video, it's usually so long because I just have so much to talk about and I just keep going on and on and it just never stops. And I'm okay with that because I watch these kind of videos. Everyone has their own specific niche and videos they like to watch, genre, stuff like that. And these are mine, so that's the thing about my channel. I only make videos that I will watch and that's why I don't really make a lot of like hauls and stuff like that because I don't watch those videos. I'm sorry. They give me very much boring. I don't know if it's the artist in me or the what, but I can't sit there and watch that boring of a video. Sorry. And they'd be like 20 minutes. I just can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm wearing an all tan outfit. It's from Misguided. I got a new tattoo. My sister did. It's a flower. I'm starting to get real tied up y'all. Like I said what I said, but yeah. So <laughs> I've just been keeping this video running and this is like a really chill type of video. And I like my videos to be more chill sometimes. I know sometimes I'm really energetic and all that type of stuff, but sometimes I do like my videos to be chill. This is the new brush I got for Christmas. It's very cut. You need that sharp contour line. This is the way to go. I'm gonna use a different brush as well though. And that's when you go mess it up because whatever, I'll be back after I fix it. Oh, I do wanna say that I found some tips that are very helpful for smaller channels trying to grow, such as like keyword tools and stuff like that. There's this website, it's called like keyword something.io. And you just, I know there's a lot of them though that you can use. And I suggest using those if you're a small you creator like me because they're getting my impressions of them. like you know that's really important when you're trying to be a youtuber which oh i hate to say that but that's what i'm trying to be <laughs> when you're trying to be a influencer or somebody like that that's something important to know you know you need to know who you're catering to and what you can put in your video to help it get found and that's where keywords come in oh, Jesus. this is really tight but yeah my channel is about to change slightly not in the niche or anything but it's just gonna get um hopefully better like my videos are gonna become better quality and i'll be like i have a backdrop that i built but sometimes i like to have my room in my room as my background because to me that's a little bit more chill than like a backdrop but when i do have videos that i want to use the backdrop for i have a backdrop all the way over there on the other side of my room but i don't think that's important and i actually built mine because i kept seeing videos of people built their backdrops for like twenty dollars and yeah it cost me twenty dollars <laughs> some people build it for 10 or 15. i think i got too many pipes yeah because i have some extra pipes but you make them out of pipes pvc pipes that you get from either like lowe's or home depot you know something like that like i was saying sorry i have to look at my ring a little bit because i can't really see in this mirror because the light is to the side it's in front of y'all like in front of the camera but my mirror is to the side 
if that makes sense but yeah so <laughs> i'm gonna try to use the blush in this palette i don't know though this one right here with the shot it's really shiny though like, it's giving me very much highlight yeah definitely very much highlight <laughs> bad though i just can't really see it can y'all see that I'm tripping on that. It's really glittery. I don't know how I feel about glittery blushes. Oh, it looks good on the camera. Okay, stick with it. And it's kind of giving you a highlight too. I like it, honestly. I usually go for a more red, pinky blush, but this one is cute. I'm not mad at it. And I'm just gonna go in with this powder again underneath here to cut it. I've been doing this for a long time. I feel like my makeup it's changed a little bit, but I feel like I've always done my makeup generally the same. I find something that works, and I don't really change it that much. But I'm trying to get out of that and be a little more explorative. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, yeah. So I'm gonna finish this and then come back. I'm just gonna use the highlight that's in this palette on the end, because it's real shiny. Like, you see that? Wipe this off, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I fixed my face situation for the most part. The last thing I need to do is highlight in my lid. So I'm using the same highlight that I just showed y'all, but I just haven't put on my face yet. I put it on my inner corner and my brow bone. This palette is so cute. It's not what I expected. I really like it. So shout out to my mommy. Can I see that? <laughs> now I'm gonna do my lid. I will use the same lip combo. It's these two. They're from Milani. Um, when you shop at Target and you're black, reach for Milani and Black Radiance. And Maybelline too is good, to be honest. And why Maybelline is good. I don't know about the other products because I don't really use anything but their foundation. I use this as my lip liner. I have lip liner, but I don't know. Sometimes this is a little more rich. Like it's very rich in color. And then I take this one and use it on my inner lip area. Oop, that's kind of a lot. I usually only use a little bit of this. I think I might have just ran out of space. Did I just run out of space? Cause my video just cut off. It was really weird. I guess I didn't run out of space. That was really weird. Anyways, um, I finished my lids and I must have just put some more gloss on top. I'm trying to reach behind this. I guess I'll use this one. It's from Wet n Wild and it's got pink glitter in it. It's so cute. I love this one actually. This smells a little weird though, not gonna lie. It smells very much factory to me, but it's okay. And I guess I'll take my Fenty and I'll put that a little bit on top. This lip is very brown. And that is the finished makeup look. Do you see? Do you see? I guess I'll just wear my hair out. I don't know. I just washed these braids. <laughs> my birthday is January 5th and it's December 26th. I just want them to last until a little bit before my birthday, before I change my hair for my birthday. So that is why I washed them. And this is a completed look. So thank you guys so much for listening to me chatter and watch me do my makeup. So I will see you guys again in my next video and thank you for watching.